Hey guys, so it's been a while since I did a dedicated mascara try-on video. I think the last one I did was the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara, which I think I tried in, I want to say, late January. So as of when I'm filming this, it is late February. So it's been about a month. So I figured it was time to try a new mascara. When I was at the drugstore, this one caught my attention. It's the Essence Double Trouble Mascara. First of all, it's like neon pink. So um, it's already getting me in the mood for summer and spring. And then it looks like it has a definition side and a volume side. So I was intrigued. So if you guys would like to see a try on and hear my thoughts of this new mascara, then just keep watching. So again, this is what it looks like. Hot pink lid, double trouble. This is in the shade extra black. And you can see on here, it looks like the wand has two sides. It says it's a hybrid mascara, double-sided brush for extra volume, length, curl, and definition. Volume, I like. Length, I like. Curl, I mean, is great, but my lashes are naturally curled. And definition. Okay. All good things, so let's try it out. Okay, ready? So it is a curved wand, and you see really long spread apart bristles here. And then if I flip it over, the top has short, almost rubbery bristles. You can kind of see it. The bottom is the long one, the top's the short one. And if you flip it over here, the long one sparsely spaced. And then on the bottom, they're more tightly packed in. Usually I would start with my the tightly packed side and then go with the fluffy side. So that's what we're going to try today. Ready? So we're going to try the tightly packed side first. Maybe my wand wasn't coated enough. Nothing's happening. Take two. Okay, this part's definitely the separation part. So now let's try the fluffier side. Okay, I'm going to go back to the shorter side. All right, they're nice and separated, but I don't think they look longer and I don't necessarily think I'm getting volume. They just look like a nice, lightly coated lash mascara. Maybe this has to be layered on itself. Let's try again. All right, I dipped back in. I'm gonna start again with the short side. And then the fluffy side. All right, now we're getting somewhere. That is actually really convenient because I often go back in after I've done my mascara with a spoolie like this with the tightly packed bristles just to separate all my lashes if they get too chunky. So this is kind of built in. You have your hourglass fluffy wand like the L'Oreal Paradise or the Too Faced Better Than Sex one or wand similar to that on this side where it's like hourglass shape and fluffy bristles. And then you've got the tightly packed rubbery bristles to separate. So that does work really well. Now we're looking like Demi Wispy falsies. I wouldn't say it added length though. It definitely separated and added definition. I would say I have a little bit more volume in lashes just because they were separated so well, but length, I do not think it added. I'm going to finish the other eye and see if my thoughts change by eye two. Okay, both eyes are done. I didn't do any of the cleanup yet as far as little dots, just so I could show you like how much of a mess this made, which it didn't. Um, I have one dot here, a little bit right along my lash line right there, and on this eye, I might have one tiny little dot. So this is not a wet, more messy formula. This is actually a pretty dry formula. So if you like drier formulas, you might like this one. I like the double-sided brush because I can separate my lashes right away and I don't need to reach for a dry spoolie or a lash comb or anything like that. I like that. I like that it has the hourglass side and the 
tightly packed bristle side. So I like the design of the wand. The formula is also nice. It doesn't make a huge mess. It isn't overly messy. It's not like splattering everywhere, which is great. The claims, extra volume. I think it does that because it separates all the lashes so they're not sticking together, making it look like you have less lashes. lashes. So it does give you volume in lashes. Does it give you length? That's where I would argue no. I feel like I have less length than I normally do with other mascaras. Like I normally have pretty long lashes and yes, my lashes look good, but they don't look long. So I would say that claim may not be the truest, at least for me. Curl, they are lifted, but I do have some natural curls. So it's hard for me to say on that one. And definition, my lashes are defined, especially on the lower lash line. It did a really nice job of separating without smudging to the skin. Like I like the way my lashes on the bottom especially look very natural, but still defined. So would I say I like this mascara? I definitely do. I'm tempted to try like a tubing mascara on top that might like coat the individual strands and give them the length I'm looking for. But I will continue to use this. I don't know if it's going to smudge or transfer or flake during the day. So I will keep you guys posted. As of right now, this one is a win in my book. I really like the design of the wand. That's probably the type of wand I would create if I were to um, create a mascara. It's like the best of both worlds for me. So I am a fan so far. I will give you guys an update at the end of the day if this smudges or flakes or anything like that. But as of right now, it's a win. So see you in a bit. Okay, so it's now seven o'clock at night. So this mascara has been on for about 10 hours. No smudging under the eyes at all. No transfer to under my eyebrows. So it's doing well. So I would say that this mascara is a win other than not having the length that it claims it does. Still pretty good mascara. So thumbs up for me. So today I used the Double Trouble Mascara and then I topped it off with the Thrive Tubing Mascara just to kind of show you how I can get some extra length with a tubing mascara. I still don't think that the Essence one gives length on its own, but in conjunction with a lengthening mascara, you can get a pretty nice dramatic look. I usually combine mascaras anyway, so I just wanted to show you what it looks like with a tubing lengthening mascara on top. 